vertical shootout, which I always like. I thought it was a battle royale. A battle royale, a cage match between FreeBSD and Linux. Who will be the last operating system standing? <laughs> both free operating systems, both great operating systems. We have experts on both sides who are going to install and uh, and uh, and then see which operating uh, systems perform better tests. There's a Damon tests. in the studio. There's a Damon in the studio. The two teams, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let me introduce them. From uh, camera left, Murray Stokely. Actually, camera middle. And then Matt Olin. <laughs> Matt Olin and really Stokely. They're from the FreeBSD team. Yes, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And joining them for good luck is Beastie, the yeah. FreeBSD mascot. Yeah. 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 No, no, that's Don Marty from Linux Journal. That's not Beastie. Here he is. There is Beastie, the FreeBSD mascot. How can they lose with a big fuzzy animal on their side? I don't know. That's a Damon. That's a Damon. Now, is, well, we're going to ask him, is it, do they like Damon or Demon? We'll have to ask Beastie yeah. how, how he likes it. Now, for the Linux team, one man, but one man's all they need. The editor of the Linux Journal, one of the foremost <laughs> Linux experts out there, Don Marty. It's great to have you here, Don. And uh, Chris Tabona is here. As he's going to be our referee. We didn't get the striped shirt in time, Chris. I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. I'll really. get you a whistle. Though. Stripes okay. aren't good on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it'd be it's vertical. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, vertical, vertical right. stripes. It's living. So we should say, by the way, Murray is from the FreeBSD Mall. A great place to get your FreeBSD distros at FreeBSDMall.com. <laughs> Matt is from Off My Server Incorporated. Both, both Murray and Matt are FreeBSD developers from the FreeBSD right. team. So they really yeah. know what they're doing. Like FreeBSD Zealots. Yes, exactly. Zealots. Chris, uh, Zealots or Zealots? Which do you prefer? Either way. <laughs> Damon. They like Damon. No, now, there's one right way. Chris DeBona, what are we going to do first? Uh, well, um, both the teams have actually, uh, they've started an install. They're going to do an their install. Machines. See so, how easily it's in installed. Exactly. So that's going to be happening as the show goes on. Okay. Um, they also have another machine that they've already pre-installed for us so they can sort of show it off in the next segment. Have the installs already begun? Uh, no, they're just about ready to. Okay, I told them so, ready to do it. So we should get a flag or something. Why don't you drop Beastie on his head, and that will be the signal. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. on three. One, one two, two, three. Get button. installing, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. All right. So we're, during exciting. the show, we're going to install. We'll check in with them and see how they're doing. And then a little later on, we're going to run the other machines and show some, co some right. things that are kind of show off. The operating system. Why so they, people would bother. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So they're in a race to install the operating system and do something. Yes. Okay. It's it's not a it's not a well you know it's not it's I, not I just like the check. It's, it's got the print. Yeah. I Let's figure, start. I was confused. Maybe some people out there might be confused. Well, do you understand now? A little bit better. Patrick. Uh, it, Cheap week, and we got a shootout going on right now between FreeBSD on your left and Linux on your right. The two best known free operating systems, and both of them really great operating systems, kind of based on the ideas of Unix, although FreeBSD is true Unix, whereas Linux is based uh, on something Linus was writing basically to replace Minix, but it became more and more Unix like. We'll talk about that in a second. I don't want to get into that. Well, let's just see how they're doing. They're installing Linux right now. Marie Stokely and Matt Olander from the FreeBSD team. Don Marty from the Linux Journal doing the Linux. How's the install going, Murray? Everything all right? We finished and we're up in KDE right oh, now. Oh, man, that's pretty good. You're done. How many disks uh, in your install here? We just used one. We just installed packages from the first CD-ROM. Ah, got... now this is where you have an advantage in BSD because of the port system. You don't have to install at all. That's exactly uh, correct. We've got a, a number of different packages, uh, so you can use ports or our binary package system. We've got four different CDs there. So there's quite a few CDs. Yeah, you want Java, uh, OpenOffice, right. all the standard stuff. So you install the basic install, but enough to get X running yeah, sure. and, yeah, and to get good. KDE running. Although so. I have to say, in all fairness, Leo, we did a text install, and I was looking over at Don's, and definitely points on the it's install. It's pretty. Definitely. Very nice. I have looking. to say that. Don Very Marty nice is looking. installing SUSE Linux, and uh, where are you in the install right now? I'm on the third CD. Oh, but see, you installed everything, didn't you? I'm installing a lar large selection of yeah, stuff. Yeah, okay. So, so that's really not a fair thing. The GUI install is nice on Linux. Well, the, the great thing about this SUSE install is that it comes up and gives you a big menu that you can drill down. Right. And it'll describe which hardware it's auto-detected. It'll give you a partitioning scheme for right. whatever hard drives you have on the system. Right. And you can accept the default, or you can go ahead and give it a custom partition scheme of your own. So for beginners, really, there's a lot to be said for uh, SUSE. It uses YAST as its kind of configuration tool, right? Yes. Yeah, and, and that's compared to, say, something like the RPM Manager in Red Hat or 
Well, what, or Blue Curve. What, what would it be the comparative uh, thing in Red Hat? Red Hat has uh, the um, a package manager called RPM. RPM, yeah. And Red Hat has an update service that's called the Red Hat Network. That's their new thing that they just started doing. Yast kind of does all of that? Yast is a general purpose control panel that gives you everything from installing software to setting up your monitor settings. You're all done. You're, you're going to reboot in a second, and you'll be uh, in your SUSE Linux. So I think this is a tie, although even the B FreeBSD guys were given Linux props for the graphical Very install. Nice. This ours is probably faster. Theirs probably looks better. Right. But if you're a geek, the the, the, the text-based install tells you everything you want. I mean, you know what's going right. on. It's a lot more geared for the server environments that we're right. often installed with. We've got network installations and such. Right. So. And, and you have partitioning in there and all that stuff too, right? Sure. But you have to kind of do it yourself. Now, to be fair, on the Linux side, if you want to write an XML-based configuration file that specifies that does your it full install, right. you write one XML file and you don't have to touch your machine at all. Right. That would be if you were doing a bunch of network installs. You could just roll them out. Sure. Never touch a key on any of them. Never touch yeah. a single machine. Yeah, we've got a very similar oh, okay. system. Okay, all right. <laughs> I can see the battle has begun. When we come back, well, I think I'm going to have to give uh, equal marks. Don't you think, Chris Debona, to both guys? Both of them got it done in, the, in a record amount of time. Linux is running. Uh, FreeBSD is running. When we come back, we're going to take a look at some cool features that each operating system specializes in on these machines. So when we come back, we'll see that uh, in just a little bit. The shootout continues. We've got the two teams, the FreeBSD team over here. Do you say Demon or Damon? David. Damon. And Beastie says Damon. <laughs> Don, you say Demon or Damon? Damon. Everybody says Damon. I, I say Demon. What's wrong with Demon? Take him out. It's oh, Beastie likes it. It's a friendly spirit. It's a Damon. Right, it's, it's a, a Damon. So uh, we thought at this point we'd be saying, well, how's that install going? But uh, you guys finished the install a long time ago. The next step is going to be to show us something that's unique and cool to the operating system. Just briefly, don't show us. Yeah, but what are you going to what are you going to talk about? Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get you know a web browser going, maybe an instant messenger, and uh, possibly play a movie for you all at once. You betcha. This is the KDE desktop. Is this that is actually Fluxbox. This, this is one. Fluxbox. Yeah. We put KDE on the install box. We finished that, and we switched over to the pre-configured one. And here. Fluxbox is a window manager. Or? It's a window manager that runs on both Linux or FreeBSD or any you know Unix flavored and, OS. I like how it looks. It it's, looks really it, cool. Yeah, it's and a, it's, 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 it's a minimalist, pretty. right? Yeah, it's kind of it looks a little like Enlightenment, kind of simple, but we're, very fast. We're also going to take a look to show you guys at the ports. Collect. Of course, it's something unique to FreeBSD. That's yeah, very cool. All right, you guys have you used Linux? Yes, so, yeah, use Linux but you you more comfortable with BSD at this point? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Don, of course, you're a Linux guy. You write, uh, you editor of the Linux Journal, which, by the way, let's hold up because this is a great magazine. Anybody who's into open source operating systems and software should be a subscriber. What are you going to show? I see you're doing it right now. Oh, well, there's all kinds yada, of stuff yada, on yada, here. Yada, yada, yada. I see that. I just want to sing. Yada, yada. I don't know why. <laughs> I've got all kinds of stuff on you got here. Got the browser going. The browser. We got the Office Suite going. Now I gotta on. say one got thing, and I know maybe this is just because of how we've got this set up, but this was always an issue for me with with both Linux and FreeBSD was the fonts don't look as good in, in the open source operating systems as they do in Mac and Windows. Is that something I'm stuck with, or is there a way to make those fonts aliased and look better? I think that if you put in a recent version of either the um, GNOME or KDE desktop or any recent uh, FreeBSD or Linux, it's gonna look you're going to find good anti-alias fonts on there. You may have to turn that on. Well, actually, we'll I think be on we by have default? an 800 by 600. That's part of We're scaling it badly. Okay, yeah. so this is not nobody's fault here. This, they, they all look good. We're going to come back. You're going to show us a nice feature, some nice features. Sure am. We're going to take a look <laughs> at the port system, which is something that's unique to BSD and really is very cool about BSD. BSD's gone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they have the cute mascots. So. We'll see who comes out on top at the end of the show as we continue for the shootout. I have to say, the penguin mascot's great, but there's nobody well, in a penguin, penguin suit here. Don yeah. forgot the penguin. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Over to you, Patrick. You're betraying your friends. You want to wear the suit? I want to see Debota in the way. The, the I think Debota should suit. be the penguin. Yeah, if I come in there, I'm coming in the front door that way and leaving that way. You won't even know. <laughs> I don't like that thought. Let's first. Now, the shootout continues. FreeBSD and Linux. FreeBSD install a little faster. But I got to say, it was pretty close to a tie in the installation. Both of them did a great job. If you can handle a text-based interface, might be a little bit of a speed here. But if you want the ease of installation, and that's one thing Linux has gotten better and better at, it makes it easier for newbies. They might have the lead there. But now we're going to let our free BS team, a D team of Matt and, uh, and Murray, do do their thing on the desktop. What do you got going on here? Well, Matt? I've got uh, one of my own personal DVDs ripped to Divix here. Okay, so you can playing, play, a, play a movie. Ventura. 
game, which You've is got a the popular aim. instant yep. messenger with yep. multiple it's uh, clients. It's compatible, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing my web browsing. This is a 2.4 gigahertz P4 you're yeah, running on. That's right. I love Open Office. That's what you're running here. And I this is uh, GNU Merrick and. Oh, it's Abby not Word. Open Office. It's no, Merrick. this is not. And, and much faster Abby Word. Than Open Office. You like Abby Word? Yeah, I, I like. Is Abby it pretty Word. stable these days? It works the last very time well. I used it, it was a little less. It's improved it a lot in the last yeah. six months. It's, All right. a it's a little crashy. That's the word uh, <laughs> we. But now, what this is great is, I think people think of FreeBSD as a network operating system more. But here, you're running a desktop and doing a lot of things simultaneously. What are you compiling in the background there? What's that's, going on? That's that's actually just mPlayer. We're going to start a, a compilation here. Which uh, is, yeah, let's talk about the ports thing because yeah. that's what really makes BSD unusual. Sure. What and and you got a minute to show me what is ports? Well, ports is our uh, infrastructure for building third-party applications from source. It allows you to it's a make file infrastructure, so it allows you with one command to download the source code for an application, check some it, uh, download any patches that may be required, and also to compile it, build it, and install it. Just for the automates specific, the whole thing exactly using apt-get or deselect and 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 equivalent. And yes, really amazing uh, in the sense that uh, it. it all the things people struggle with, both Linux and BSD, is finding all the dependencies, compiling sure. it, Handles configuring it. it. For you. This does it all for you. Yeah. And how many ports uh, programs are there? We've available? got over 9,500 of them right now. So pretty much all the major applications are available in ports And lots form. of the ones you've never even heard of. Yeah, that really sure. makes it easy. All right, let's move over to Linux, because poor Don Marty hasn't really had a much chance to show off what Linux can do. Of course, we're all more familiar with Linux than BSD. That's great. Why Linux? Linux has uh, the advantage you can get it at whatever level you like. You can yeah, get yeah. a little box like this. This is Azorus. Running PDA. Linux. Runs Linux. Motorola just announced it's not going to use Symbian anymore. It's right. going to be Linux in all its phones now. You know? Here's another embedded Linux box. This oh, really? is from a company called Cyclades. Uh -huh. You put one of these in your server room and you can manage all your servers remotely. That's awesome. Turn your power on and off So remotely. that's an example of embedded Linux, running it in a hardware situation. Of course, we're running it on the desktop here. Sure. Is Linux now competitive on the desktop, you think, with Windows? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't run Windows on the desktop <laughs> since 1996. They're, they're playing catch up. <laughs> it's getting better. It's getting better. I, I agree. think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. One day Windows might catch up. Maybe Windows will get a catch up. What What would you say is a unique about Linux compared to BSD? Something Linux can do that BSD can't do. Well, there's a lot that both can do. This is just an example of a service that comes with one of the popular. Linux distributions. This is kind of the comparative to ports here. This is how Red Hat makes it easy to install software, right? This is Red Hat's tool for letting you know right on the desktop, right on the desktop, if your current uh, software is up to date. Right. It'll put a it'll put a, an exclamation mark if it's not, and then you can download it, and it'll be green, and everything's going great. That's, That's a right. nice feature, I have to say. That's right. Most of the security problems you read about are things that were published and people knew about that right. way in advance and if you just keep up to date with the package manager that your own distribution supplies then you're going to be uh, able to avoid almost every security something problem something to there. be said for both operating systems besides the fact that they're free they're secure and that's there's a lot to be said nowadays with looking at what's going on with windows chris Bono, you have the uh, en enviable position of picking a winner free bsd or linux I'm going to completely wimp out. They're both great. They're both great. Yeah. Either one of them. Well, I have okay. to say, now here we've seen... <laughs> they don't like it. You're in trouble. No, 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 You're in I'm trouble. okay with that. <laughs> He's well, okay I mean, with I, it. I wouldn't use them both uh, for the same things, though. Desktop I mean, for Linux? Oh, networking I, for BSD? I say I would favor the desktop for Linux. That said, you guys really impressed me with what you've done here. Look at that uh, desktop. Because, you know, I have been sort of in the old mindset of BSD kind of... Yeah. It does text, right? Uh, you know, and uh, but you've you've impressed me. One of the things I really really like about BSD though is the ports. Sure. And, and as a system manager, that really is terrific. Murray Stokely, <laughs> Matt Olander, FreeBSD, Beastie, we appreciate it. Don Marty from the Linux Journal, Chris Bona. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for this edition of Screensavers. Patrick Martin, I'm Leo Report. Thanks for joining us. And we'll have a great day and a great evening. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. All right. Good job. You guys did great.